Hallelujah. Good morning this morning. How are you? How was your night? I hope you had a great night and you woke up with a bright smile. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll ask to sing our song for this series as it has turned out to be. And it says, Blessed be the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower that the righteous run into and they are saying the name of the Lord is a strong tower that the righteous run into and they are saved. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord most high. Father, thank you for your name that is a strong tower that the righteous can run in and will be safe. And the righteous can run in and are lifted up above that the righteous can run in and are protected. Therefore, Lord, we thank you, O Lord, for all that you have done. And Lord, I want to thank you again for this morning this beautiful Friday morning that you have made. Lord, I thank you for everyone that will listen to this, oh God. Blessings, oh God, upon the household. Blessings, oh God, upon all that concerns them. Thank you, faithful Father, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And of course, Without much words, let's go straight to our memory verse that we take from the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 that we all know of by heart as it were already. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 and it says from the ESV version, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare, not for evil. To give you a future and a hope. For I know the plans that I have for you declares the Lord. God has made a declaration and is making a declaration this morning to you. That he has plans of welfare. Plans of welfare for you. Not plans for evil. Glory to Jesus. And our second memory verse is taken from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Which says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. I love it because when I hear that God has given me a spirit of power, when you have power, you do not fear. When you have authority, you know you can make decrees. You know you can determine things. You can say things and they will come to pass. In fact, the word of God says that we shall declare it in and it shall be established. Ah, <laughs> I love this, my God. I love my God. I love Jesus. It's so amazing the things that the Lord has given unto us. And what a privilege, what an honor that the Almighty God would relate with us, who have plans, who have thoughts for us, you know. Another version of the uh, Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. For I know the plans that I have for you. An Italian version translating directly from it says that, I know the project that I have designed for you. They are projects of peace. Glory to Jesus. I will stop there. I just want us to remember that these two nuggets, like I call them, they are so vital to us if we can keep them in. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So today I want to read from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Then we'll go on to read straight away because today we are rounding up on them, on what we have been reading from the book of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10. Now, <laughs> now, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 says, and then I will explain why I use that. It said, it said, let us hear, hold on please, I would like to read from the 
New King James Version. Hallelujah. Now, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So that, will, that is what we'll be doing this morning with the verse that we take from Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10, hearing the conclusion of the whole matter. He said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is man's all. That is, this is all the duty. The King James Version reads it this way. The King James Version says that, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandment. For this is the whole duty of man. So what we are doing this morning is hearing the conclusion of the whole matter, hearing the conclusion of the whole verse that we have been reading. That particular verse in Proverbs chapter 18. Proverbs 18 verse 10. Hallelujah. Proverbs 18 verse 10, which says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower that righteous run in and are safe. Another version says the name of the Lord is a fortified tower that the righteous run into and they are lifted up above. They are lifted up above. So this morning we want to hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Praise God. Now we have looked at the various elements that we found in that verse. We have discovered the name of the Lord, what that name is, and that the name of the Lord is the name Jesus Christ. Glory to God. We discovered that yesterday because the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. We read that yesterday from the book of Philippians, that Jesus Christ is the Lord. So the name of the Lord into which the righteous run in is the name of Jesus. And we discover who the Lord is, that Jesus Christ is the Lord because of of course, uh, when you discover the name, you discover the person. When you discover the person, you discover the name. And we also find out what it means for a strong tower. How, what can a strong tower do? How is a strong tower? And then we look at who is the righteous. Uh, and we came to understand that the righteous person, the righteous man is that man that has received Jesus as his Lord and Savior. The righteous man is the one that has confessed the name of the Lord Jesus. The righteous one is the, has, the one that has accepted the sacrifice uh, that Jesus made on the cross of Calvary by giving himself up, up in place of us. You know, we also read the other day from the book of Isaiah 53. I just pray that God will take us back there in Jesus' name. And then we also look at what it means to be safe and why we'll be safe. The truth is that we all want to be safe. We all want to be protected. You know, just like our memory verse said for the project, the plans that I have for you, they are plans of welfare. They are plans of peace. The thoughts are plans of peace. You cannot have peace where there is war. You cannot have peace where there is sicknesses and diseases. You cannot have peace where there are woes and troubles. Hallelujah. But God says that the thoughts that he have for you, they are thoughts of peace. So that means that God is bringing you to a place where you can stay at peace, where you can be at peace in spite of what is going on. I am at peace, glory to God, because the peace that I have is not from the world. The peace that I have, no man has given it unto me. The peace that I have is the peace that Jesus has given. For Jesus said that I give you my peace. Say, I give you my peace, not as the world gives. Not as the world gives. He said, fear not. I give you my peace. So this morning we are rounding it up. We are, we are, we are looking at that verse and saying, what does it really mean that the righteous run into it and they are safe? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I just want to encourage everyone this morning that will be watching this video wherever from whatever part of the world at whatever time. Thank God for social media. Thank God for technology. You can listen to this message again and again. I just want to encourage you today that you should know that of a truth, the name of the Lord, it's truly a strong tower. It may not be a 
physical building you see, but it is a strong tower. The name of Jesus, glory. The name of Jesus. <laughs> the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus. 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 The name of Jesus is a strong tower that we can run in and we're safe. So you can hold on to that name. No matter the situation you are going through, are you being cheated out of your right? Hold on to the name of the Lord Jesus. Are you being afflicted? Hold on to the name of the Lord Jesus. Are you facing trials and tribulations? Hold on to the name of the Lord Jesus. Are you feeling somehow you are just out of your cool? Hold on to the name of the Lord Jesus. Are you going through financial stress? Hold on to the name of the Lord Jesus. It is the name that you can run in and you are safe from every trouble. You are safe from every issue. What does it mean that you are safe? Does it mean that the issues, they disappear? No, it means that the name of the Lord brings you peace. It places you in that position where you have clarity of mind, where you have an understanding of what you can do and where you can, you're able to hear the direction God will show you that God will give to you for you to move, where God will bring you, you know, solution where you can easily see that solution because when you are at peace, everything is clearer to you, you have a better understanding of what you are facing because when you are agitated when you are upset, when you are angry, when you are unhappy you do not see clearly you do not. It is <laughs> your, your, your judgment will be clouded. But when you are at peace, when you are calm, you are able to see. So the name of the Lord brings you to that place where you can see solution. So you rise above the situation. You do not live inside the situation because your problems do not define you. The problems you are in or you are facing, they are not the definition of who you are. Because your, the, that situation can change. Remember what I've always said. Whatever has a beginning has an end. Your situation has a beginning, so it has an end. Remember the story of the woman with the issue of blood. We do not know her name today because she was described by her situation. But did she remain as the woman with the issue of blood? No. Her situation changed. She became the woman that touched the hem of his garment. She became the woman that her faith drew power from Jesus uh, to the extent that Jesus has to stop his journey to be able to find out who is this woman with such a wonderful, powerful faith uh, to draw power like that just by touching his garment, just by touching the hem of his dress. Uh, he was, she was able to draw power from the name, from Jesus. Uh, she said, if only I could. Uh, today, I'm telling you, if you can only say that, uh, just say, I want to hold on to the name of Jesus. This situation is above me. This circumstance is too much. Uh, I'm holding on to the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter who you are. You may be a preacher. You may be a businessman. You may be a housewife. Uh, you may be a husband looking for a job. You may be a wife looking for a job. You may be a mother facing how to bring up your children. You may be a family that you are struggling. It may be that your marriage is in crisis. Guess what? Hold on to the name of Jesus. Take that situation. Run into the name of Jesus and you will be safer. For the name of the Lord is truly, the name of the Lord is truly the strong tower that you can run into. And finally, I want, to, I want to read from the book of James, please. The book of James, because that, that, that scripture is just coming to me, uh, which where it, the Bible says that uh, when, we, when, we, when we believe, yeah, yeah, I will read from verse 5. It says, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives liberally and without reproach, and he will to be given unto him. Now, it is not only wisdom you can ask. In that place of refuge, you can ask anything. Jesus said, if you will ask anything in my name. So, he goes on, he said, But let him ask in faith without doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. 
He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Why did I read that? That as you believe, as you hold on to the name of the Lord Jesus, hold on without a shadow of doubt. Be like the woman with the issue of blood that said, I, I, I will wait if I only can touch. She did not doubt that decision. Now, if you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, if you believe that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, don't be moved by whatever the situation is. Determine and propose in your heart that you are going to stand firm. It doesn't matter how high, how hard the winds may blow. Know that you are in a high tower in a very high fortress, in a very, very high and safe place. And the foundation of the tower where you are is a very strong foundation. And that foundation is the name of Jesus. And that tower is the name of Jesus. And that name can never be brought down by any wind or any situation or any circumstance. Hallelujah. What a wonderful name we have, the name. Of Jesus Christ the name of Jesus we read also in the book of Mark chapter 16 that by in the name of Jesus we can cast out devils we can lay hands on the sick and the Bible says we can lay hands on the sick it didn't say who the sick can be so are you ill are you sick lay hands on yourself and command in the name of Jesus for that sickness to get out of your body be like that woman with the issue of blood are you facing a financial situation Lay your hands on that situation and say in Jesus name situation turn around for me the name of the Lord Jesus is a strong tower and you know what if you're out there you've not yet given your life to Jesus you're not born again I know a lot of people don't want to hear that but you have to hear it because that is a true word you're not born again. You've not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Why don't you do so this morning? Why don't you just bow your heads with me? Just bow your heads where you are and call the name of Jesus. Just say, Jesus, come into my life. Jesus, be my Lord. Be my Savior. Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of the living God. Jesus, that you died on the cross and you rose again all for my sake. Jesus, I receive you today as my Lord and my Savior. I surrender my life to you. That from today, I will live for you. I will live and hold on to your name. Thank you, Jesus, for receiving me. Amen. And I will just pray for you as I pray for everyone. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you this morning for your name. I thank you, Father, for your name is a strong tower that the righteous run in and are saved. Precious Father, I thank you for everyone uh, that is receiving Jesus as their Lord and Savior this hour. Thank you because, Lord, that salvation is sealed. Father, you said anyone that comes to you, you will know why it's cast out. Uh, Lord, with joy, we receive these new souls uh, into the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, I pray you will direct their step to a right place where they will have good fellowship, oh God. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, I seal their confidence confession and their salvation with the blood of Jesus. I cover their lives with the blood of Jesus. And so, Lord, I just want to thank you for everyone that will listen to this video. Father, Lord, I ask for your blessing, O oh God, upon their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Father, I pray that the eyes of their understanding, Lord, will be enlightened in the knowledge of you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Father, that even a call you know God to Ecclesiastes, oh Father, that Lord, they will hear the conclusion of the matter to obey your word, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, for this is the whole duty of man. Father, I pray, oh God, for as many, oh Lord, that are going through one situation or the other. Lord, as they call upon your name, ah, Lord, oh God, open their eyes to see the way out. Open their eyes to see the solution. Father, run to their rescue. Oh Lord, lift them up, oh God, out of that circumstance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, if there be anyone, oh Lord, facing a false accusation, oh God of justice, arise, oh God, and justify that one.
Father, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Faithful God, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for hearing me. I give you all the praise this morning. I give you all the glory. And I thank you for being our God and our strong tower in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. And with that, I say thank you. God bless you. And don't forget you are the child of the Most High God. Square up your shoulders and do not be afraid. Do not fear. You are running into the strong tower and you are safe. And remember again that God loves you. God loves you. God loves you unconditionally. He loves you recklessly and he loves you relentlessly. Be blessed and be greatly encouraged and keep on smiling knowing that you are in a high rise tower of safety, even in the name of Jesus. God bless you and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye, bye.